can you tell me and tell the world whether you believe President Putin is trying to scare the rest of the world and Ukraine by mentioning the nuclear option? Can you tell me that? And can you tell me that he would never use a nuclear weapon? Uh, two things. I would uh, disagree with you. Firstly, President Putin was not the one who ruined Minsk Accords. Okay. That was, that was Ukrainian side. This is number one. Number two, uh, Ukrainian, after the collapse of the Soviet Union, handed in all the nuclear weapons uh, to the Russian Federation. But unfortunately, in the year of 2022, just a couple of months ago, in Munich conference, President Zelensky started to speak about possibility of generating a nuclear arms on the territory of Ukraine. And most probably you have witnessed that. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I, I was actually there, uh, Dimitri, and I actually interviewed him, and I do remember him saying, look what we have got for giving up our nuclear weapons. And the real issue is, now, what do you expect other countries to do when you ask them to give up their nuclear weapons? Because, you know, territorial integrity and sovereignty has been violated. Again, even your friends, the Chinese, have said they respect every nation's territorial integrity and sovereignty, um, including Ukraine's. Could I quickly ask you, though, I need to ask you this, because the world is afraid, and I want to know whether Putin intends the world to be afraid, of the nuclear option. Would he use it? President Putin intends to, intends to make the world listen to and understand our concerns. We've been trying to convey our concerns to the world to Europe, to the United States, for a couple of decades, but no one would listen to us. And before it is too late, it was a decision to start, to, to launch a special operation, military operation, to get rid of entire Russia that was created next to our borders. What? To get rid of Russia? And anti-Russia, anti because Ukraine, Actually, Ukraine started to be, it was formed by the Western countries, anti-Russia. Oh, OK. This is the problem. OK, uh, look, Ukraine is a country, sovereign. It's recognized by the United Nations. It's been around for a very, very long time. But I, I just want to know, I want to ask you again, is President Putin, because, again, the Finnish president said to me that when he asked Putin directly about this, because President Putin has laid that card on the table. President Putin said that if anybody tries to stop him, very bad things will happen. And I want to know whether you are convinced or confident that your boss will not use that option. Well, we have a concept of uh, domestic security. And, uh, well, it's public. You can read all the reasons for nuclear uh, arms to be used. So if it is an ex existential threat for our country, then it can be used in accordance with our concept. Well, there are no other reasons uh, that were mentioned in that text. So you are basically saying only an existential threat to your country. Um, I still don't know whether I've got a, a full answer from you, and I just, I'm just going to assume that President Putin wants to scare the world and keep the world on tender hooks.